Hi, I'm Justin Caffrey. Go to thevegasnerve.com to learn more about the vagus nerve or you want to work with me, go to justincaffrey.com. Today, we're going to talk about how to prevent a panic attack. You can use this when you feel like you're about to have a panic attack, but also when you're in a panic attack. So most importantly, we're going to be focusing on breathing through your nose during this exercise, both the inhale and the exhale. Ideally, you should be breathing through your nose in advance of this. And if you haven't, please check out some of my videos on guided breath exercises for nasal breathing. When we breathe in through the nose, we create an environment where the body can create nitric oxide. If we breathe through the mouth, the body is not able to create nitric oxide. So breathing in through your nose brings in enough oxygen and carbon dioxide to create nitric oxide, which lowers your blood pressure and calms down your body. It also helps move you to rest and recovery from fight and flight. Fight and flight is where you're having a panic attack. You can't tell yourself to calm down, it's just not possible, but you can't physiologically connect yourself and allow your nervous system to know that right now in this moment everything's okay. So close your hands over your face or mimicking the paper bag. Make sure there's no gap and start breathing just the volume of air inside your cupped hands. And please don't do this if you're pregnant. This will get a little bit tricky and it will feel a little bit uncomfortable and you'll feel quite warm. That's okay, that's normal. As you continue to breathe in this cup of air, it will increase the concentration of carbon dioxide. Increasing carbon dioxide helps your nervous system calm down. It also allows for an increase in nitric oxide because we're nasally breathing. So once you're breathing in through your nose, out through your nose. Now, if you're coming close to a panic attack or you're in panic attack, set a timer for three minutes and continue to breathe like this. As you're breathing in through your nose and out through your nose, imagine there's a piece of tissue paper in front of the nose. You want to breathe so softly that we do not move the tissue paper. Each time you're inhaling, try and Reduce the amount of air that you feel you need to take in. Continue this practice for three minutes. It will become difficult, you'll feel a bit warm, and it will feel challenging. But as you stay with it, you will start to calm down the nervous system. I want you to be able to stay through the uncomfortable part. Always make sure that you're sitting down and comfortable. You'll feel your heart rate slowing down. You'll feel some bulbily saliva entering into the mouth. You'll feel some increased saliva in the mouth. You may start to notice your gulp mechanism is turning on. This means you're moving into rest and recovery, calming down. This isn't in case of emergency break glass approach, but I'd love you to build up a process in advance. Learn to use my five, 10 or 15 minute guided nasal breathing meditations every day, and you will also reduce and end the need to even use this exercise. I'm Justin Caffrey, please like, subscribe and share this video if you think it's helpful for people that you know.